Uh, I'm Ryan Dangle. I was the head coach for boys gymnastics at Elk Grove High School for the past six years. How did you get started in gymnastics? A friend said, you could do a car wheel, you should come out for gymnastics. Uh, and I was a two-year gymnast. I wasn't very good, but it changed my life. It's how I met my wife. Uh, it's how I got my first teaching job. Uh, it's how I've met some of my closest friends, some of which stood up in my wedding. Um, changed my life. Literally changed my life. Uh, where'd you go to high school? Naperville North High School. Who was your coach? Brad Farrick. I fell in love with the sport and everything about it, the team camaraderie, and just... It, it, there's something about gymnastics where if you're a gymnast and you meet anyone else who's a gymnast, especially a male gymnast, you are instantly bonded. You just have this connection of we're all a little weird and we don't have a lot of other places to go, but we fit in in gymnastics. And that's something that, that has spanned my entire coaching career. And I just felt accepted by that group of guys right from the start. What's something you're proud of from your high school days? Uh, sticking with it. <laughs> not giving up and learning how to do a backflip. That was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> how many failures did you have along the way to learning that backflip? A hundred billion, all of them. Uh, I think that's something about our sport that, that people don't quite understand. If a quarterback is throwing the ball a little bit better or a pitcher is throwing the ball a little bit better, you know, most people can tell, maybe kind of. But with our kid, I couldn't do a backflip and now I can. And that tangible, like, I can see it, I have it, is something that is celebrated like no other sport I've ever seen in my entire life. Watching one of my gymnasts do something they never thought they could ever do in their life, and they, their eyes get wide and they go, coach, it's like a chance for them to believe in themselves is, is, is why we're all stuck in this sport and why we love it so much. It's, it's something that is truly unique and special to our sport. Those kids that don't have another place to go have a place to be in our gym and do things that they never thought possible. What's a challenge that you found as a coach working with the kids? You have to play a little bit of a psychologist because this sport is scary. It can be dangerous if it's not done right. And so going through those progressions and, and trying to get a kid to do a skill that you know that they can do safely um, was always a challenge. What's something you're particularly proud of as a coach? Watching Elk Grove go from a team where everybody kind of laughed and this past season they, with Coach Abby Diaz, they went fourth in conference. And uh, to have their first state qualifier in over seven years when I showed up, um, he was the very last competitor to make it on rings. And uh, the pride that was brought into not just one kid, but that whole team. Some that can never be taken away from that team and those boys. Yeah. I'll never forget it. What does this sport teach you that you could, you know, take into your, your adult lives? Everything how to work hard, how to be a good teammate, how to triumph over adversity, how to get back the things that you had before, and to work harder than you ever thought possible. And that if there's something that you want, you can get it, even if you didn't think that you could do it. I coached a visually impaired gymnast on high bar, and teaching him how to do a flyaway, a backflip off the bar, is the most meaningful experience of my entire life. Beside being a dad, it's, it's the most powerful moment of my entire life. And watching Adrian Rodriguez stand on his feet when he couldn't see after doing a backflip off the high bar, I'll never forget that moment as long as I live, ever. Uh, if you had a chance to talk to the IHSA Board of Directors, what you would guys, you tell them? You gotta understand that this sport is truly unique. And we always joke that if you're a little bit weird, you're gonna fit in in gymnastics. This is the space for kids that don't have other places to go. They're athletes, but they just don't know it yet. They're athletic, but they don't really fit in on the basketball court or, or running track or something. And this is the place for them. You've gotta keep giving those kids an opportunity for a place that they don't have anywhere else to go. I love gymnastics. And I know that these athletes love gymnastics. And the community that is built through this sport is truly unique. And I, it's, you can't find it anywhere else.